Just the smiling critters in today's video. Oopsies. Family, today we're making all of the Poppy Playtime 3 characters death cutscenes in our dioramas. So much like on today's video to make sure you do not get chained to a wall. Family, I heard if we don't get this video to 10,000 likes. You heard the nugget? Then your hands are gonna get chained to the vacuum cleaner. And then your mommy and daddy is gonna make you vacuum the whole house. Oh no! Smash like! And also smash that subscribe button too! Because if you're not subscribed to the channel, then that means you're not in the family. But don't worry, if you're subscribed, that means you're in. Family, today we are creating real life Poppy Blade Dog 3 art dioramas. Dioramas are usually boxes with some art inside. And today we have decided what we want to put inside of our box is evil, crazy, cursed monsters. Exactly. And our first art diorama we're making <gasps> is Cursed Catnap with the prototype. Oh no, family. This art diorama box is gonna look a little something like this. It's gonna have Monster Catnap peeping through the wall and then evil red breath coming out of his mouth with the prototype hand. Getting ready. Scoop him up. All right, first things first to make our real life catnap diorama box. We have to start making catnap out of clay. Oh, and family, this artist is super duper talented and is currently shaping catnap's head. Oh man, this is already starting to look like catnap more and more and more. We just finished his head. Now we're making his body. Or should I say his slimy spine? This family, I don't think it's normal to see all that kind of stuff through your skin. Okay, we finished making his body and now we're making his long noodle arms oh man we're attaching the arms to the body with apparently even more pasta noodles family is kind of italian because i think he would like spaghetti but uh oh family don't tell that to my daddy because if you didn't know i am italian too and i do not want my daddy to invite catnap over for sunday dinner oh uh, no thank you catnap you can have lasagna and meatballs somewhere else. <gasps> oh my chicken nuggy. Okay, we're almost kind of done with the catnap out of clay. Oh, and here comes the fun part. We get to paint him with this airbrush paint spray. <gasps> Family, this looks so fun. I've actually used one of these before to make different kind of desserts, but I didn't use regular paint to paint the desserts. I used some type of edible paint glitter thing. And then I sprayed all of the cakes with all the different colors. It was super cool and actually very similar to what they're doing right here. Okay, we're done with the airbrush and now we're going in with a real hand brush. Ooh, and we're adding in all the little tiny details like coloring in his black nails his yellow moon <gasps> and look at this family i think he's done and now comes the next part we're making the circle where catnaps coming out of whoa wait what's that uh is that the thing that <gasps> blows out catnaps red breath family cuz look i think that's a fan and when catnap blows out his breath in the air the fan makes it circulate everywhere. Oh man, that means his sleeping breath is gonna travel faster. Okay, we added catnap in our diorama box. <gasps> Now we're adding his red breath. Oh, family. I thought that was strawberry flavored cotton candy. I don't know about you, family, but I have never eaten candy. That makes me go to sleep. Okay, we're doing final touches on Catnap's red breath. We're adding in the lights. Oh, family, our real life diorama of Catnap is almost complete. Add in the caution tape and the toxic signs. And now, family, are you ready to see the final transformation of our real life Catnap prototype diorama? Let's see it in three, two, one. Here's the picture. And now let's see it in real life. Whoa! That looks crazy! Catnap is chained to the wall. Oh, hold on, family. Wait a second. What I meant was Catnap is chained to the wall. And the only way he can get out is by breathing his red stinky breath and hoping that it breaks the ceiling. Because that breath is so toxic, I bet you it acts like fireworks. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Pow, pow, pow! Bye, ceiling. 
All right, family, next up, I'm gonna show you how to make all of the Smiling Critters death cutscenes. But first, before I show you that, I have to show you what all the Poppy Playtime three characters actually look like. And I'm not just showing you regular schmegular pictures of all of these characters. Oh, no, no, no. Family, I am showing you what all the Smiling Critters look like out of pancakes. All right, Dog Day, we are almost finished making you out of pancake. Whoa, look at all these different colors of orange. Okay, it's on the frying pan already, and now we're seeing the bubbles go. And once you see the bubbles, that means the pancake's ready to flip. Whoa! Family, look! We just made the perfect dog day! And family, look at this next pancake we're about to draw. Can you guess who it is? I'll give you a hint. It's somebody who looks very similar to dog day, except um, a little bit, uh, how do I say this? Less of him? Because family, look at this. We are making... Monster Dog Day with no legs. Oh, oh, well. And apparently after that bad pancake flip, he might have no arms too. Because we just almost lost it. All right, next Smiling Critter character we are making is... Wait a second. Is this Dog Day again? Family, what is going on here? We saw regular Dog Day. We saw Dog Day with no legs. <gasps> oh, family, I knew it. I knew it. Well, actually, I didn't know it. I just figured it out right now. But family, remember how I told you that I'm going to show you how to make all of the Smiling Critters death cutscenes? Well, our first death cutscene I'm showing you is out of pancakes. Because we just made the death cutscene of Dog Day from food. All right, next Poppy Playtime 3 character that we are making out of pancakes. I think you know who this is. Oh, family, we are making a Miss Delight out of pancake. You know, the evil teacher who always tries to chase us? Whoa. Oh, this pancake is super complicated. Oh, and it's the evil version of Miss Delight, too. Okay, let's look at all of the final transformation. Regular dog day, no leg dog day, death cutscene dog day, <gasps> and evil Miss Delight. Family, comment down below which pancake was your favorite. And quick, quick, do it before we start the next characters. Oh, man, we already started. Can you guess which Poppy Playtime character this is? Family, I'll give you another hint. This character is purple just like a beautiful grape. And the character is also a cat. And um, the character is also kind of evil. And um, the character is also uh, <laughs> trying to oof everyone. Because family, we're making catnap out of pancake. Three, two, one, flip. Oh, look at this. That's not the Smiling Critter version of Catnap. It's the monster version of Catnap. The version we don't really like. Is that the most evil one? Next up, we are making a very key component of Poppy Playtime. And this is the gas mask that characters use to mask their face when they're trying to get through Catnap's evil red breath. Oh, the bubbles are here. Let's do the flip. Whoa. Okay. I like it. I like it because it's safe and helps me not die or fall asleep. Oh, I know who this next character is who we're making out of pancakes. It's a blue fluffy monster. Oh no, it's Huggy Wuggy. But wait a sec, is it the regular version of Huggy Wuggy or the nightmare version of Huggy Wuggy? You know, the one who pops through the TV screen and starts chasing us? Mm, and from the look of this pancake, I think it's, uh, uh, uh. Oh, here comes the flip. Oh, it's Nightmare Huggy Wuggy. The brand new character. And now, family, this is the last pancake that we are making before we start our pancake competition. And then right after that, we are making all of the Poppy Playtime 3 death cutscenes. You gotta keep watching for that. And you gotta keep watching for this. Oh, because we just made Prototype's hand out of pancake. Stay away from me, Prototype hand. You are not taking your robot fingers and scooping me up. No, thank you. No, thank you. I will pass. And if you scoop me up, then I will pass out. Which one of these pancakes was your favorite family? Comment down below. Family, next up, we're doing a speed draw pancake making competition. First round is who can make the best pancake in only 30 seconds. <gasps> and wait a second. Look at this. It looks like for the 30 second round, this artist is making catnap. But the cute smiling creators version of catnap. Oh, Mr. Pancake Man, sir, you better make that pancake fast because the timers on the board is running out <gasps> and you're not going to have enough time. 
time. Whoa! He finished the catnap in only 30 seconds. All right, family, next pancake making round. We have three minutes to make this pancake. Ooh, and it looks like we are making a very much more complicated design in this image. And I think it's catnap too. But family, in the 32nd round, we made the cute version of catnap. But in this three minute round, whoa, we're making monster catnap. Look how much bigger and spookier he looks. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Now we're going on to the 30-minute round for this pancake making. And it looks like we're making an even more complicated pancake this time. <gasps> and it's somebody even more evil. We did regular catnap, monster catnap, and look at this, family. It's nightmare catnap. Oh, no. Which pancake version of catnap was your favorite? You gotta tell me in the comments. And now, family, it is the time we have all been waiting for. We are about to make all of the Smiling Critters characters, but death cutscenes. Oh, look at this. Okay, to make the Smiling Critters death cutscenes, first we have to make the images on a computer because then we're gonna 3D print them in real life and make them into the actual cutscenes. Okay, 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 look at this. Okay, the first one we're making is Dog Day. <gasps> then I saw Bubba Bubba Finn. And I think I also saw Crafty corn. Whoa, look at them crafting these shapes. We are molding, we are bending, we are doing this all on the computer, by the way. And family, I can't wait till we're done the computer part and go to the real life part, because then we're gonna see them with our eyes. And maybe even get to hold them. Okay, okay, the pictures are done. We're pouring in the stuff that's actually gonna make these figures in real life. <gasps> Whoa, the computer is so smart. It took all of the models that we created and printed them out in real life. Here's the Bubba Bubba Finn, the Dog Day, the Crafty Corn. Oh, look at all the pieces. And now, family, this is the step where you cure the pieces. And that basically means you're heating up the figures and making them harder so they don't break. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Now it's time to paint these figures. Oh, they look so cute. Oh, family, it makes me kind of sad because do you think these figures know that they're about to be tied up in chains? Because uh, if I was a Poppy Blade, time character. I don't think I would really like that. Okay, we're coloring, coloring, coloring with all the different colors. Ooh, this one is definitely Dog Day's body. I can tell from all the orange and yellow. Oh, and now we're taping all of his body together. <gasps> Look, family. He even has his arms like this. Ready for the chains. And now we're moving on to Bubba Bubba Fint. And we are coloring him in. I know this one is Bubba Bubba Fint because he is the color blue and has a very long nose just like an elephant. Oh, the final details are here. Oh, it's almost done. I could almost taste it. But uh, um, actually, I don't want to taste it because you should never eat paint. That stuff's toxic. Okay, now we're gluing Bubba together and his arms are out too. Oh no, family. I'm already getting so sad for these smiling critters. <gasps> No, not Crafty Corn too. Okay, my Crafty Corn is one of my favorite smiling critters because she is cute, she's magical, and she wears every color of the rainbow. Okay, we're coloring, we're painting. We are almost done this transformation. <gasps> Crafty Corn's legs, arms, body, <gasps> blood, arms are up, belt is on. And now family, all we have to do is make the diorama box that these smiling critters are gonna go in. And I think... Our transformations are complete. Transformation number one is <gasps> Crafty Corn. Oh no, it's Crafty Corn's death cutscene. <gasps> Papa Bubba Finn's death cutscene. He looks so sad. And Dog Day's death cutscene. Oh man. Family, all of those art projects were super duper cool. Also kind of made me sad. I don't want all the smiling critters to be chained up to the walls. I want them to be happy and playful. And to get the chicken nugget out of playtime co and family since you made it to the end of today's episode i have a very special surprise for you here is a bonus video of miss delight and we are gonna make her in real life too are we gonna make her a death cutscene just like the smiling critters uh-oh i really hope not okay here we're shaping miss delight oh her creepy face and her big eyes okay and her really pretty hair with her cute little outfit oh i really like miss delight when she's happy and nice oh oh no oh, oh no 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 wait now we're making miss delight's weapon oh no and her dress is all cut up too. Family, we're not only making the nice version of Miss Delight, 
They're also making the evil version too. Okay, remember that part with the computer where they learn what we molded and now it's printing out in real life? Well, yep, we just did that step. And now it's time to cure the pieces. And that means that we are making all of these pieces hard so they do not break. Oh, and now since all of the pieces are hard, they're ready to paint. Okay, okay, uh, there's Miss Delight's t-shirt and the red for the red apple on her chest. And now we got the red polka dots for her dress. Oh, and coloring in her arms and legs. Okay, there's her arms. There's her face. And we even have all the yellow in the world to make her hair. <laughs> it's so yellow, it looks like honey. But unlike honey, Miss Delight is not sweet. She's an evil family. Okay, now we're coloring in her eyes and her eyelashes. Oh, and even her red bow. And her red blushy cheeks. And her big smile, but don't let that smile fool you because she might look nice nice at first. But don't worry, family. We're gonna see the real her very, very soon. Whoa! Okay, we just got a sneak peek of the good version of Miss Delight. But now we're coloring in the evil version. Okay, this is gonna be very similar to the first version that we already made, except this one has ripped clothing, dirty hair, and a super creepy face that has half of her skin ripped off. Okay, Miss Delight, uh, I just want to be your friend. I just want you to be my teacher and teach me some fun math problems and not try and eat me the whole time. Do we have a deal? <laughs> All right, family, we're about to see the final transformations of both good and evil Miss Delight in three, two, one. Oh, wait a second, family. I don't think you're ready for it yet. Smash like on today's video if you're ready to see the final transformation. All right, family, since you are super awesome and smash like on today's video and subscribe to this channel if you're not already, I'm about to show you the final transformation in three, two, one. We have good Miss Delight. Oh, and the evil version. Baby Nuggy Hide. Family, if you like today's video, smash like and smash subscribe. Go get Baby Nuggy Size Nuggy and Dippy Nuggy Plushy at shoplexy.com. Me and Baby Nuggy love you so much. I will see you all in tomorrow's video.